Node tools is going to be a very important feature in the future of Blender. It's going to be how artists share new Blender functionality in a way that doesn't require coding, doesn't require being a developer, but still lets you do almost anything. It's high power and doesn't require extreme skill. You can make anything out of nodes, just turn that into a tool and share it quite easily. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make node tools, how to share node tools, and how to import and use node tools other people have made. So to begin with, we're going to learn how to make node tools. And this is super easy. All you have to do is open Blender 4, Blender 4.0 or greater, as includes node tools. Uh, earlier versions of Blender don't have node tools, so make sure you're in Blender 4 beta or greater. Next, go to the Geometry Nodes tab right here. There's one new feature here, which is right here we have this little context menu. It says modifier, but we can switch that to tool. And now we're not working on a modifier. We're making a node tool. So just press new name your tool something like my tool and then um, make your tool you've got access to a lot of nodes here all the same nodes you would normally have access to plus a few new ones we have selection which lets us read the current selection so like you can get what vertices are selected you can set the selection which is also very helpful you can so after the tool runs maybe you could select some new faces that you generated or something like that and you can also access the 3d cursor which would give you the position of the 3D cursor in the scene so you could, you know, generate something there or change an effect based on where it was. Okay, so we'll make something super simple. We'll just do a delete and get a random value. There we go. And we can even test out an input by plugging that into there. So now we have a probability of deleting everything randomly. Okay, right, super simple tool. Now here's how you use it. Simply go over here in select an object tab into edit mode i'll subdivide this to make it more interesting and now when there is when you're in edit mode and you have a node tool in the file that's available you'll see this little icon here which is the node tool icon you just click on that and there you'll, you'll see your tool there and you can just click it to run it and there it happened it deleted randomly and then if i open the operator menu it's like a real tool i've got like my probability slider right here which is the um, value that I exposed back here. See probability over here is right here. So yeah, and then once it runs, it is permanent. It is just like you know bevel or any other permanent operation. If you don't want it to be permanent, make a modifier rather than a tool. It's just a thing that happens. So now I've got these faces deleted. They're not coming back. I can't go back. I mean, I can hit undo if I like, but it's still a permanent operation. It is destructive. Still very useful. Okay, now. That's how you make a node tool. Let's go on to how you share a node tool with someone else. So just right click on the name of your tool here in the node editor and I'll mark as asset. Now this tool is an asset, which means it can be used in Blender's asset browser. All you have to do now is take this Blender file. You can just save it, send it to someone, and then they could import it into an asset library and the tool would just show up for them. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so in this brand new Blender file, you see I've got, if I tap in edit mode, there is no no tool button here. There are no node tools currently in the file. We've got to bring one in using our asset library. And in Blender, asset libraries are, you can visit preferences and see all of your asset libraries. You can see I've got a few imported right here. And an asset library is just a folder with some Blender files in it. So, like I've got a folder here called user library, and that's where I've been putting all my assets. So if I take a Blender file that has a node tool in it and put it into my user library folder, which is just a regular folder on my computer, you can add them as asset libraries right here. Um, if I go and I drag a node tool, a Blender file that contains a node tool into that folder, I'll then have access to it. So I'll just go do that. So I just grab this Blender file has got a node tool in it when we just created it, and I'll just drag that here into my user library folder. And now I should have access to it. So I can just go over here. Tab in edit mode. Maybe this needs to reload. So yeah, once you've once you've dragged it in, just restart Blender or get a new file. Just save and restart or something like that. And then um, when I tab in edit mode, you'll see there is the button. I click that. There's my tool. Since that's in my asset library, just click that and it happens. So exactly what you want. Super easy to share and uh, use. All you've got to do is mark it as an asset and then put it, have someone put it into a folder 
which is an asset library. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to make, share, and import node tools in Blender 4.